Hey everybody, welcome back for part 7 of our pet shop build. If you've missed some of the other videos, don't worry. We have some cards you can click on or a link in the description below the video so you can check out the other parts that we have already put together. The apartment building is done. We're into the second half of our pet shop modular. You're looking at the ground floor of the pet shop. We're going to keep building this up. Stick with us. In our last video, we got some nice tile work done. We put the cash register in. We squared off some sections for our cat and our dog. We have a mouse out back near the bucket. And we have our two parrots up front on their little stand. So the next part that we're going to build, we're just going to jump right in, is going to be a fish tank. So we need one of these big blocks. And we need a slope and a couple one by one blues we need a circular glass piece a one by two modified with a notch cut right down the center two one by fours and two one by sixes and we need a fish of course an orange one by one plate with a claw. We need a green cone. Two one by one lime colored studs. One, two, and three purple one by one studs. One, two, and three. And we need one brown one by four, just like we had in the apartment building. And that should be all of the pieces. Just slide up the sleeves and get to building. I'm excited. I love putting Legos together. We're getting so close to the end of this build. can't wait to finish it. Pet Shop is an older modular and I've been wanting to collect them for some time. Finally had the ability to get it. After I put it together we'll do a city placement video for you guys. We'll stick it in our city and I think it's about time for our second Lego City video. Give you a little update as to what's going on there. glass. Oh, ha, ah, the fish clips in here. So he's actually got some sturdiness. Looks like he's swimming. Now this glass piece has got to go around the fish or under the fish. Once it locks into the brick, you're fine, but it's got to be able to get around the fish. There we go. I'll put a cover on it. Of course, a real tank would not be exposed in the back. Fish would get away, but for the purpose of this build, it works. And it's going to go on that single stud that's exposed here in the back of the store. In fact, uh, you're going to build the wall up, so the fish will have a backing, no problems. For those of you that are into the realistic type scenario, the fish won't be able to get away. Building a mailbox. There's the mailbox. We need a cheese wedge to go on top. Surprise Lego doesn't have like a flag. Some older style mailboxes um, that you put down by the street uh, where the, the mailman or mailwoman would drive by in a van and put the mail in. There, there's a, usually a flag that you lift up. Haven't seen too many with flags. We have a 1x2 printed envelope tile. Slide that right in the mail slot and that will go right here exposed door uh, opening that way. Oh, hey, look at that. <laughs> uh, we got to put the rest of these bricks on. Well, la-dee-da. Okay. One, two. I'm just looking at the instructions here. And it 
looks like. Yep. We ended the last video with the parrots, but we never put the third layer on, so we have to stick those on. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to put these parts aside. And we're going to acquire these parts here. Uh, one by fours, need three of them. There we go, three of those. Okay, and then sand. There's a one by two and a one by three. We need a one by three. One by four, one by four, one by four, one by two. No, 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 no. Here it is, one by three. All right, now that we got all the pieces, we'll remove our mailbox, which was placed prematurely. We're going to build up this part here and the brown brick we put on already and this is a one by four two four six one by six another one by six and then oop, across the back behind the fish tank one by six fish tank was placed prematurely but that's all right. Work around it. There we go. And then one by six here. One by six there. One by four. Another one by four next to the parrots. And then a one by two. That looks like the instructions. Yeah, much better. Now we can apply what we wanted to put on. There's that. Okay. And behind or next to the mailbox we have a one by one blue. And then uh, this is our one by two with a notch. That completes that section there behind the mailbox. And one by one on the end, followed by a one by six, and then a one by six behind that, one by four, one by four, one by one to close off that side. There. Now our fish is completely inside and now we pick our one by four brown and that's the next step up to the second level probably good deal three more one by one blues three one by fours those are over here there's three one one by six And a one by two tan and a one by one tan. Um, there we go. Okay. So we have the single tan and the single blue up front next to the mailbox. And we have another tan here in the front. I'll raise that wall there. Then we have a single blue behind it. Careful not to knock our parrots off their perch. Then we have our long one by six. And we finish up with our fours across the back and then our single one by one there. Now we have all tan colors, so we need two one by twos. We need a three one by fours. We need four one by sixes. One, two, three, four. 
one flat one by six and a one by one. There we go. Now this is going to go all the way around the outside, starting in the back. I'm going to go all the way across. And we're going to come up the side. And we're going to put our plate here. And then finish off with a one by four and lock those in. One by two here. Oh, I just noticed something. Yeah, there's slots on both sides. Got to turn the mailbox around. The uh, the opening, for some reason, is uh, on the staircase side, which is interesting, because I looked at the instructions. I thought it showed it on the opposite side. No, I guess I was wrong. Not starting off good with this video, but at least we found our errors and fixed them. So make sure that you switch it around if you're following at home. It, it opens on the staircase side. So we put that two on. Now we have to do a one by four. And then our single one by one here. And another. We're going to skip a stud and then put our next one by four. And we're going to finish off with our one by sixes. And on the other side of the mailbox, we're going to put the other one by two. All right. A lot of little play, uh, pieces now. This is step 17. So we need a two, four, six, a two by six light bluish gray. And three one by twos with, a, uh, with an edge on them. is one by six flat tan plate one red one by one slope our frog yellow frog another green cone one lime green one by one two looks like dark purple one by ones And looking for this next one. Oh, here it is. One purple slope. One one by one modified white. And this says here another one by one slightly less color purple. Almost looks trans. Lots of blues. I'm trying to find if it's mistakenly maybe a blue. Hmm. That's another slope. I don't think it's over here in this big pile. Here's a one by two. We'll put that over there. These are all bigger bricks. Yeah, glass. I'll put this plate over here too. So that's interesting. Oh, they're blue. All right, one purple. In the picture it looks blue. In the in the box it looks purple. So we're going to go with one purple. So put that back. And we're going to go with two blue one by ones. That makes more sense cuz I wasn't finding another purple color. Colored pictures do help. Uh, put these on like that. Okay, now we got the plate that goes all the way across. Our yellow frog is going to sit over here all by itself. And we have a blue. Then our modified. 
with the side stud sticking out that way. And then we're going to put a purple here and our light green on top of the purple. Our cheese wedge, purple cheese wedge, is going to slope towards our white brick. And our red cheese wedge is going to slope like that. And then our green cone is going to go there. And we did have two blue, so stack that too high. And that is going to go this way. Uh -huh. Right here in this area that we had notched out. Get in there. Doesn't want to go in there. So you know what? I'm going to take this brick off. I'm going to put that one on. And I'll put this brick back. <laughs> no, this one doesn't want to go in. Oh, what is going on here? I can't get it in there. There we go. Tight fit. All right, there it is. Nice little shelf behind the cash register. Now we got to break open our stairs. This is going to be applied over here to our second floor. So we need two one by one Technic tan. We need two black pins. And they're, of course, going to go in the one by one tans. And we need two one by one Technic darker brown. And they are going to go on the other side of our tans with the studs both pointing upward. We need a 1 by 4 dark bluish gray and a 1 by 2 tan plate to go in the center. And then the brown pieces affix like that. And we need another 1 by 2 light brown plate that's going to go in the back of our staircase there. And then our stairs are going to join here. And I see. Oh, I just lost the dog bone. <laughs> and then this is going to go right here in our cutout notch. Just like that. So these stairs will fold, but just make sure you don't knock that single brick off there. Just sit like that for now. Okay. Two more one by twos in the tan. Four one by one blues. Three, four, five more of these. Two, three, four, five, and then four of those. One, two, three, four. frog, a longer one behind the shelf, careful not to knock any of those pieces off, and then our one by one blue and then a tan one by two. Okay, we have a tan here. Now we're going to completely lock in our mailbox, gonna have a blue all the way along the side. A one by one here. Uh, then we're going to come from the back. It shows to tilt the stairs forward to accomplish this. So we'll do a four there, a four there, 
a single there. And now we got to bring in these bigger one by sixes. Well, you know what? Just to get to take this oop, single off of the front, put that brick there, and then put our single back on. Makes it easier to get it in. All right, now we got a door. So we got a brown frame, a black door, and a light gray door handle. And this is going to be the back door, so it's going to open outwards. Mm. Yeah, like this. And then put the door handle on the outside. So like that, and then it's going to turn. We're going to put that back here. So that's going to be the the rear entrance to our pet shop. Now we need another door frame with a front glass door. Oh, that's a window pane. Glass door. And this is going to open outward. And we need another one by one light bluish gray for a door handle. And that is going to go on these jumper studs here. And then we need the other door frame with the large glass panel this time. So our parrots can be seen. And that goes right next to that. So inside the pet shop, you can get access to drop some mail. Or this is where you would pick it up if you were the post person. It locks that in nicely. Now we need some roof tiles. So we need one big black, two smaller black, one one by eight gray flat plate, two one by two browns, three of those, one, two, three, and four sixes. One, two, three, four. All right, I'm just going to bring these all over to this side. These are all the remaining pieces. So I have everything over here. That way I don't have to reach across and block the camera. So let's see if we can do... Okay, so the smaller ones go on the ends. Fold that forward. There's that, there's that, and there's that. That's like a, a rear awning all the way across. Okay, and then this one long plate locks in our frames in the front. And then we have a four, four, and six along the side. So we have a four. Four. Oh. Did I miscount? Oh, I did miscount. So we have a, a six. There's a four. There's a four. And then one of our one by twos. We have another one by two. And we're going to push the stairs up now. One by two there. Another one by six here. Okay, bring the stairs forward again. One by six, one by six, and then our one by four. That's that level. Now we need a one by four modified plate with the two studs on top. And two of these in white, two of the same in blue. Two of those. And two of these. 
There's one, there's two. And then two columns. Okay, so this is going to take the grill plates. They're going to go on the front. Like that. It's going to go over the door. And then we have awning, alternating. White, blue, white, blue. Over the glass pane. We have two single studs on either side of this, so that just has a flat, even row of studs now. And then our columns are going to go over here on either side of the stairway. All right, just a few more steps, I think, and then we'll call this video finished. Two one by fours, three one by sixes. two one by ones and two more bigger roof tiles. So the roof tiles are going to go straight across the back. Oh, we got an indent, indent. There we go. Okay. Four, four. So we're going to come up the side this time here. There's a four. There's a four, two, and then a six and a one. So here's a six, and then we have a one. Nothing on top of this pillar yet. Um, two sixes and a one, so that's along the side here. Two sixes. Okay. That was off. And then a one like that. Okay, and then we need a couple of flat plates. Flush tile. Where's the flush tile going? Uh, one by four size. So that will be one by six, one by six. No, one by six, no, one by four. Here we go. Four jumper plates. So one by six, one by four jumpers. Here we go. One, two, three, four. There's four. And then one blue one by two modified with a another notch. Okay. So these are going to go here right on top of our tan bricks. And our jumper plates are going to go straight across. Like that. Our blue is going to go on this side. And our 1x4 tile is going to go there. Make sure that that staircase doesn't knock that brick off. Okay. All right. I think uh, I think we're good with one more step, and then we'll wrap this up. So a lot of pieces in this step. A lot of interesting pieces. So we have one big plate, one long. Uh, there we go. One Technic Brown, one Big Pin, one Blue Pin, another one of those, one of those, two one by four white tiles, a yellow one by one cylinder. And what would look like a bowl or an, an old-style diving helmet. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, oh, and we also need two one by one light blue grays. There we go. So we'll stick the long side of the pin all the way through. Put the yellow cylinder in between these four studs. Lock it down. Take the yellow bowl and put it over on top of the yellow stud. Then we're going to take the blue pin, slide it inside the black one. Brown Technic goes over the blue piece. And then it shows in the picture this points down. Oh, it's going to be a dome light. This is going to go right on top of the blue modified brick. So this is a, it's actually a light for the walkway going up to the second floor. That's interesting. And then we need to put these plates together. And we got this on the end. Skip four studs and put the other one there. And then these plates go like that. And this is going to go over the top of the front entranceway, like that. All right, last step. Two, four, six. This would be a good ending spot. So I got four of those. One, two, three, four, five of those. One, one by two white. Two plates, one by two white, and then one big archway. All right. So let's take the blues in hand. Right, we're going to come in one stud and do a four, a six, a four. Six. Oh, how about I do it evenly? There we go. Two fours. There's a four. There's a four. Our white two goes there. Our two white plates stack on top of one another and go here. And then our archway goes on top of the columns here. And then we have a four, and then we finish with our sixes along the side like that. Make sure our staircase is still in good position there. It's real easy to knock that that one block that's in there off because it's it's not underneath the exterior; it's just sitting on there. And that'll wrap it. So I think we'll end our video there. We'll pick up the next part on step 28 of book two. We only have a few pieces left in bag number three. So we'll definitely finish this in our next set, uh, next video. And then we'll break into bag four and most likely build the second level of the pet shop. Thanks for joining us. Leave a thumbs up if you liked the video. Make sure that you leave your comments. Please click that subscribe button. We'd love you to stop back and check out our other videos, and we'll send you alerts when we post new information. Until the next video, happy building.